Special Sundays radio show. I am your host, Miss Special, hanging out with you. Keep up with me on the Twitter at M I S S, the number one S P E C I A L. All types of information up there, all the songs we played. But right now, we have a very good friend of Special Sundays on the phone line. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen, Signia. Yes. Hey, uh, thanks for having me back. No problem. Welcome back. I'm so excited to have you back. We got a new project. So much to talk about. Yes. Yes, good to be back. Exactly. Yeah. So, we'll jump right into it. Embracing rejection. If the people haven't already got it, I say this all the time, y'all are sleeping, but we're going to put you up on game, so just stay tuned. Embracing right. rejection. What was the idea behind the title and the actual project itself? It just came out of just nowhere. It's like, okay, it's time for a new album. And um, <laughs> what I had in mind, what I really wanted to do, it kind of fell through because my experience is what I wanted to talk about. I wasn't done living, you know, my life and, and why. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, whatever. We put out the Significant Wisdom EP in April. Yep. In May, I was like, okay, I'm just going to push this and enjoy my summer. And mm-hmm. then a couple weeks later, rolls around, it's June, it's like, Nah, I got to do a new LP. I got, I got something to say. I got something to say. From there, it's like as a local emerging, you know, trying to even break into like the underground scene. Yep. You know, what I'm saying? it's a lot of rejection because the game is so saturated with so many people. So mm-hmm. it's like no gatekeepers around here no more. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to address, just what I was going through. You know, trying to even make a, a crack in the foundation as an indie artist or a local artist or merger MC, whatever you want to call it. So that's what the, you know, the project basis is. I love it. Because a lot of people, they want to, you know, act like, oh, it's all good. You know, I go to shows, I rock shows, I do this. No, there's so much more that goes yeah. on. It's not all cute and fun. And if it is all cute and fun, the more power to you. But you know right. you had to struggle somewhere because it's not that easy. It's not. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to have, like, a fan base. I'm like, I got to make sure this gets out one and that the people actually like this and, like, even getting the feedback. Like, I know what songs to rock and how to communicate with people. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to do everything at once or, you know, too much, mm-hmm. too soon. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to kind of, like, and it's okay somebody over there here, like, okay, who was this, you know, on my radar? And then you look it up and all this shit pops up. So exactly. it's like, I want it, but I'm not going to, you know, force myself on anybody. So I put it out there and let the music talk for itself kind of situation. So, of course, we got to talk about the features that you got on the project. Some of my very close friends and some yes. new people that I haven't heard of. So, tell us about the features. It's a 16-track LP. Some of the songs are short, and I only have three features on there. Mm-hmm. I finally got to work with Kino. Yes! One of my That's favorite it. people in the whole yes. wide world. Shout out to Kino. He is just dope. He's just dope. He, he's nice. He's cool. I met him through Has. You know, Has been supporting yeah. him and Sauce for a while. You know, bouncing back, talking online. Like, you want to do something, we're going to do something. So I definitely got him on this project, and I'm definitely happy about that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, hopefully in the future I get to work with him again. I got Jay Nolan on there. Jay Nolan's out of Atlanta. He's pretty dope. He goes in. You know, I've been knowing him for a while, and he's, mm-hmm. he's just so hungry and humble. And, you know, he just, like, recurred to taste this good music out of him, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to work with him again, mm-hmm. you know. And then I got Israel on there, and he's, like, just unique. He gives you almost like a Wu-Tang kind of feel. Yes. But he's so like his own, you know what I'm saying? It's just like so rough and rugged. And you know, I like how he's fitted, so. Yes. Shout out to those guys for, you know, blessing coming through and putting their verses down. Definitely appreciate them. Straight fire right there. Now it's time to talk about the production, because last time, you just worked straight with G-Wiz. Now, you got people all over the map, literally. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of carpenters, Good as we say. Step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few people in there I've been working with for a while, like Taylee, JBM, Hat Solo, they've been holding me down yes. years, you know. And it's when I get, like, Wiz even been around for a couple years since I started working on the transition. And, you know, I get a lot of bids, like, I like your stuff, want to do your stuff. But, you know, a lot of these guys are more persistent and, you know, not just me liking it. sounds like you might send me stuff and I like it, mm-hmm. but then you might not catch me at the right time. I'm, like, already piled up to my eyeballs working on this and this other stuff. But about being persistent, a lot of these guys were, like, like HP, like, well, I'm just gonna keep sending you stuff until you like something. <laughs> Two joints on there. Shout out to DJ Porter Rock. We got it one. 
one, uh, Radio Raheem. You know, that's my first time working with him. He's been trying to do something for years, and people love that simple joint. Um, Thaddeus is on there. He remixed the afternoon jazz thing. He's so precise about everything he does. And the remix came out dope. We even had, like, a DJ on it scratching it, but I guess he didn't like the final outcome of the record, so we just did a raw version, original remix. Nice. Uh, Sudan Life is on there off of the No Love joint. Mm -hmm. Um, Shout out to Gambit. He did the weed rap. And the homie Sauce Fonda. Oh, yeah, Sauce. Shout out to Sauce Fonda. Yeah. Yes, That nice to know joint. Yeah. Yes, yes. Then, of course, the project was presented by different people. Why did you choose to go that route? Of course, there's super dope blogs that, of course, have been holding you down, and, you know, they hold me down, too, so I appreciate that. But why did you choose to do that with this project? Just something different. You Mm -hmm. know, I've seen, like, artists have stuff presented, and I wanted to do it, like, in my way as a salute to, like, some of the blogs that's been holding me down. And I, like, have ten of them. I'm like, okay, I'm going to narrow this down to three people. I can't have, like, five and six, seven people, you know, (laughs) presenting the project and so what i did was the mad bloggers were like almost the number one pick because even before they started showing me love and supporting me they were holding down my city milwaukee Mm -hmm. doesn't get like a lot of coverage so that was a no-brainer so they were like holding down milwaukee before they started showing me love and then when i started dropping you know they had my back shout out to q and oc supreme but that was just like a no-brainer just off of the love that they show my city and then the thing with them is like not only do they hold you on because they super hold me down like i am 100 <laughs> percent supporting them because they 100 percent support me but they're just super dope dudes like dope. you know you'll yeah. be on twitter just having random funny ass <laughs> conversations with them and like they're just cool ass people and they kind of yeah. like spread their love they kind of branch out like they'll find somebody and then they'll see who they work with and it just is this beautiful yeah. it's, tree it's, of it's, the mad bloggers that's it sprouted. is it's genuine love you know what i'm saying and you really don't see that too much no more yes. you know everybody wants the attention focused on them and how they do it like you said branch off it's, it's like a wonderful thing and you know some blogs only post certain people <laughs> and certain <laughs> things and don't like to try new things you know i've guess. been around so long that that doesn't even bother me like yeah. i can't get annoyed by that you know what i'm saying <laughs> like <good. laughs> i know the reasons why they do or why they act like you know, I used to type out my raps on message boards. You know, I've been around for that long. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard out here sometimes. Mm-hmm, but you're making it, so it's all good. Then, of course, you had it presented by Kevin Nottingham. Oh, yes, yes. Shout out to Kevin Nottingham. That decision was when I released the transition. Uh, one of the writers is Justin. He gave it like an honest listen and then an honest feedback. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Then when I was just trying to figure out how to get the music out there, people just had to go on a whim, you know, just off of me presenting myself. And that was one of the blogs that did it. They wrote a really good piece on the transition and been holding me down ever since. So that's why I went with them. Same thing for Hip Hop is Cool with Skrills. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He took a chance on the transition and, you know, he actually listened to it and it's what he typed up, you know, the mm-hmm. things that he said. So it was like I had to go back and kind of see who's been holding me down since the beginning. It was like a no-brainer. And providing that good feedback, too, because, you know, it's very extreme. Like, some people just really won't post it or some people yeah. will post it and be like, oh, my God, it was great. I'm like, right. okay, where do <laughs> I go from or this? Or they won't even say that much. They would just like, new project, you know. Exactly. So to have people who really listen and give you thorough feedback, sometimes it's a little hard to swallow, but at the end of the day, like, that's what you need to keep going. Okay, this didn't work, this works. Okay, they really like this, they're not so much feeling that. Like, that is the really important part of this because that's how you progress. Right, exactly. that's a beautiful thing. Now, on the project, you said you had 16 tracks, some of them short. Some of them you just cut off i was listening <laughs> i was going with you i was uh, oh i think somebody best said it is almost like uh keep you wanting for more like you know it's going to be something after that because like a lot true. of the good stuff was short you know exactly it kept the flow going you didn't just leave me at a dead stop i was like oh 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 okay <laughs> like it was very flowful so why did you choose to do that especially with no love that was just like the timbre of the song and then i rewrote the third verse over Mm-hmm. And then I didn't like it as much as the original, but the original was so nah. You know, sometimes you have to stop and kind of check yourself. <laughs> I was like, nah. So I just faded it out. But then the goal was to go back and replace that with the new verse. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I didn't want to say this is something different. I don't know. That's just what I was feeling at the time. Like, we got to just fade this, like, right now, right here. You know what I'm saying? That's that creative <laughs> control. I respect it. <laughs> I really yeah. do. So you want to introduce that track to the people so we can jump right into it? Yeah. Coming up right now is No Love, produced by Sudan Life. Right here, special Sundays. Yeah. For the flakers, the non-believers, underachievers, the ones that act like they don't see us. For the flakers, the non-believers, underachievers, the ones that act like they don't see us.
In this jungle, where we rumble, they will hunt you. Give a helping hand one minute, put the gun to you. That's what hunger do, living off of number twos. That it should early kill you. See what she did right there? She left you hanging for more. I didn't do that. She did that. But the good thing is, is we do have more for you. Yeah, <laughs> we got more. <laughs> we got Signif on the phone lines. And see, that track, not only is it kind of touching on some serious stuff, but I was grooving in the studio. So I like right. that. Like, I could sit there and I could really think about all the bullshit, but then right. I could still do my little sway that I do. So right. I love it. I love it. I feel like that's what this project was all about. It was, one, it was kind of talking about the embrace and rejection, kind of, you know, talking about the bullshit, talking about the nonsense that goes on as an upcoming artist. Right. Then it was also about, you know, having fun. You got the nice little, you know, weed smoking songs, getting down a little bit. And then you always kind of open a door to your life. But I feel like this one, we really stepped in that door and was like, hey, Signif, I know you. Right. Which can be a little perceiving kind of weird because I've had artists say we're like, well, just because you're my song doesn't mean you know me type thing. Right. Yeah, I think that pretty much explains it. To start off with the point of finger at me, you know, they say the hardest thing to do is talk about your problems and issues. You know, always somebody else's fault, but, you know, the only person you can change is you. So mm-hmm. if I feel like I just come out naked letting you know, this is me, this is my flaws, this is what I got going on. I try to match everything, but we're in a social network world where everybody wants to look popular, nobody wants to look uncool, nobody mm-hmm. wants their real life, what goes on out there, mm-hmm. more so than what they perceive, where they put out there. So it's just the hardest thing is for people to do is to be honest, you know? I'm saying with yes. their self, you know, what's going on. So I figure if I put myself, what I got going on in my life, you know what I'm saying, and kind of mix it in with everything else, you'll kind of catch it. But it's still hard for me to open up about certain things like mm-hmm. being homeless and all that kind of stuff. But I want to put it out there because I want people to know the real me. Definitely with that. The having fun is, it's like I had to find a medium is I don't want to be too preachy. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to be fun. Like, I don't have nothing wrong with club music. Some of the stuff you like hearing. You just got paid, your bills paid, you want to go have fun. Yeah, that's <laughs> part of life. And then it's just like this whole other life where you have issues and problems. So if you can mash those two together, and, you know, that's what I try to do is find that medium. You know, nobody wants me to sit over and just preach and blah, 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 you know. As much as I like rapidity rap, I really don't want to do rapidity rap. And I can't do club and, you know, trap music because that's not my thing. So I try to, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try to, like, the trap. I want to make something, like, I know my nieces and nephews that listen to, too. So I try to, like, merge it. That's what it goes into picking certain beats and I talk about approach certain topics. I definitely feel like you found that medium between kind of the fun but still talking about real things and like i really appreciate that because i hear a lot of ignorant music and then i hear a lot of conscious music and to find that middle to where you can choose okay i want to rock okay i want to really listen to have that is super dope and you really found that so i really appreciate that thank you so let's talk about what's next man i want to ride this out but definitely um I don't want to give that away, but a double feature, <laughs> I want to say maybe a double feature video will drop the same day. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> you can be on the lookout for that towards the end of the year. So getting into next year, I think I already talked about it a little bit. It, it will be a significant wisdom, too. Yes! <laughs> so that's in the works. Actually, I'll be in Baltimore in a couple weeks working, like, personally with Wiz. That's my homie. See, that's the thing about you is you just don't <laughs> stop. Like, I was like, oh, you, we got significant wisdom. And then all of a sudden, I was just like... Oh, shit, now we got embraced in rejection. Like, boom. (laughs) That was great. Definitely be on the lookout for significant wisdom, too. So that's coming. Good, good stuff. But until then, they can still download Embrace and Rejection up there at signip.bandcamp.com. <laughs> Check it out, Vibe to it. 16 tracks. That's a lot. You can listen to that for days and days and days. And then yeah. repeat it and listen to it for days and days and days. Just yeah, absorb it. Do that. It's a beautiful thing. But... Make sure you catch up with Signif on Twitter as well at S I G N I F. Thank you so much for calling in. I super appreciate it once again. I'm telling you, one of the best friends of Special Sundays right here, Signif. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for having me again, and I appreciate you spending my music, and much love to you and the show. Definitely support it. I appreciate you. Well, you have a very special Sunday. Thank you. <laughs> Special Sunday's radio show is live every Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. on ksfs.sfsu.edu. And for everything special, check out specialsundays.com.